Hi, my name is Kaz Asif. I'm an interventional neurologist in Chicago. We have created EMS education videos for stroke assessment. These videos include stroke identification, stroke severity scale or large vessel occlusion scale performance, and stroke pre-hospital notification. Let's talk about the difference between stroke screening scale and stroke severity or large vessel occlusion scale. Stroke screening scale is used to identify stroke. Scales like Cincinnati Pre-Hospital Stroke Scale, the CPSS, or Los Angeles Pre-Hospital Stroke Scale, LAPSS, or Simple Fast or BFAST. All of these are stroke screening scales. Whereas stroke severity scales or large vessel occlusion scales grade the severity of stroke and identify whether a stroke is large vessel occlusion stroke or not. So there is a difference between the two and it's very important to understand. Let's go over the elements of RACE scale. RACE is a large vessel occlusion grading scale. It stands for Rapid Arterial Occlusion Evaluation. It is graded from zero to nine points and the elements include face, arm, leg, and gaze evaluation. And depending on the side of the weakness, aphasia and agnosia testing. Face is given zero, one, two points, depending on the degree of weakness. Arm similarly is 0, 1, 2, leg 0, 1, 2, and gaze is given 0 or 1 points. And if there is right sided weakness indicating left hemispheric dysfunction, then aphasia is tested. If there is left sided weakness indicating right hemispheric dysfunction, then agnosia is tested. First is face. Face is given 0, 1, or 2 points. 0 for normal, 1 for mild weakness, 2 for severe weakness. Arm is given 0, 1 or 2 points. Zero for normal or mild weakness where the arm does not touch the bed and can be lifted for up to 10 seconds without touching the bed. It's given one point if the arm cannot be kept up for up to 10 seconds and touches the bed. Two points if the arm does not lift, severe weakness. leg. Similarly, 0, 1, 2 points. 0 for normal, 1 for moderate weakness, 2 for severe weakness. 1 point for leg is given when the leg cannot be lifted for up to 5 seconds and touches the bed within 5 seconds. 2 when the leg does not move or cannot be lifted up. Gaze deviation is given zero or one point, presence or absence of gaze deviation.
and then depending on the side of the weakness if the right side is weak which indicates left brain dysfunction then aphasia is tested If the left side is weak, indicating right brain dysfunction, then agnosia is tested. Okay, sir, can you uh, close your eyes? Okay, great. Can you make a fist for me? Okay, great. Okay, sir, can you uh, close your eyes? Okay. Can you make a fist for me? Okay. Okay, sir, can you uh, close your eyes? Okay. Can you make a fist for me? Okay. Okay, sir, whose arm is this? My arm. Okay, great. Sir, do you have weakness on one side? Yes, left. Okay. Sir, whose arm is this? Your arm. Sir, do you have weakness on one side? No. A race scale score of five or above is considered predictive of large vessel occlusion stroke. The standard of care treatment for large vessel occlusion stroke is mechanical thrombectomy with or without IV thrombolysis. Mechanical thrombectomy can only be provided at certain select centers that have the capability to provide this treatment. So let's go over some tips for neurologic exam in an awake patient uh, with large vessel occlusion stroke. Most large vessel occlusion stroke severity scales uh, involve examination of face, arm, leg, and that requires the patient's cooperation and the patient's ability to follow commands, which may be impaired or would be impaired in a patient who has aphasia. So how to elicit those exam findings in an aphasic patient or, patient or a patient that is not responding to commands. Uh, starting with the face, when you ask the patient to show their teeth or give a big smile and they don't follow, one of the things you can do is to ask them to mimic your expressions. Can you show me your teeth like this? Sir, can you show me your teeth like this? Similarly, for the arm exam, if the patient does not follow commands, then you can passively, uh, you can show them your arms and say if they can mimic your exam, your uh, lifting up the arms. If they can't, then lift their arms up passively like this and see if they can hold it up. So as you can see, he's not able to hold the right arm, but the left arm stays. Same thing can happen for the leg. You lift one leg at the time passively and see if they can hold it. Lift the other leg up and see if they can hold it and he's not able to hold the right leg. Now for any large vessel occlusion scale or stroke severity scale to be performed, patient's cooperation is needed. But that is difficult in a partially conscious or an unconscious patient. So what to do in that patient? One of the things that is most important is the examination of eyes. If eyes are closed, then you can open the eyes and see what the gaze deviation is like and look at the pupils to see if they are unequal and unreactive on one side. So I'll demonstrate that. With the patient's eyes closed uh, and you're not able to wake the patient up, you can lightly open the eyes and see as, as it demonstrates here, his gaze is deviated to the right side. The other thing is pupil exam. Now, in a patient that is, who is 
partially conscious, attention has to be obtained because unless attention is obtained, they will not follow commands. So attention can be obtained by either loud voice or tapping the patient. If that doesn't work, then mildly painful stimuli might be needed. And I'll go over face, arm and leg exam using mildly painful stimuli in a partially conscious or an unconscious patient. So first thing is face. What you can do is supraorbital pain and this is where one would give painful stimuli and there is wincing on the face that one would notice. So as you can see, there is no wincing of the face. Similarly, uh, for arm exam, you can either do sternal rub and see if the patient moves with side. Or you can do nail bed pressure. to see if the patient moves that arm where the pain is. So if the painful uh, stimulus is applied to the right arm and the patient does not move, but the left arm moves, it indicates right arm weakness. Pre-hospital notification by EMS has been shown to improve outcomes and times to treatment. Ideal pre-hospital notification should include stroke severity scale or large vessel occlusion grading scale. In addition, last known well time. Anticoagulation history, whether the patient is on it, which medication, and the last dose for it. Vital signs like blood pressure, oxygen saturation, and heart rhythm. Blood glucose, and family's contact number, as well as the estimated time of arrival. Now that you are familiar with large vessel occlusion scale exam and race scale performance, following case scenarios are for self-assessment and it would be best to pause the video after each case scenario before going to answers. Sir, could you show me a big smile? Sir, can you look at my finger and follow it? Could you hold up both of your arms for me and hold them out? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Could you uh, lift your left leg up for me? One, two, three, four, five. And could you hold up your right leg for me? One, two, three, four, five. Sir, do you have weakness on one side? Yes, left. Okay. Okay, sir, whose arm is this? My arm. Okay, great. Race scale score is zero. Agnosia was tested because the patient had weakness on the left side. Sir, could you show me a big smile? Sir, can you look at my finger? Can you move your eye? Could you hold up both of your arms for me and hold them out? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Could you uh, lift your left leg up for me? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Sir, do you have weakness on one side? No. Sir, whose arm is this? Your arm. Race scale score is eight. Again, agnosia exam was performed since the patient's weakness is on the left side. Sir, could you show me a big smile? Sir, can you look at my finger and follow it?
Could you hold up both of your arms for me and hold them out? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Could you uh, lift your left leg up for me? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Sir, do you have weakness on one side? No. Okay, sir, whose arm is this? My arm. Okay, great. Ray scale score is five. Since the patient had left-sided weakness, agnosia was tested. Sir, can I have you smile? Sir, can you follow my finger? Great. Can you lift both your arms up together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, sir, can you uh, close your eyes? Can you make a fist for me? Okay. Race scale score is five. This time, aphasia was tested because the weakness is on the right side. Sir, can I have you smile? Sir, can you follow my finger? Great. Can you lift both your arms up together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, sir, can you uh, close your eyes? Can you make a fist for me? Okay, great. Race scale score is four. Since the weakness is on the right side, aphasia was tested.